This is for those of you trying to heal your gut and your nervous system. And some of you might have experience, you're trying to heal the gut, but something isn't working, or you're trying to heal the nervous system and something isn't working. And I'd love to save you some time and let you know that these two things go very, very closely together. So if we're just trying to heal the gut and we keep our nervous system in this chronic state of dysregulation, chronically stressed, chronically anxious, fight, flight, freezing, fawning, then that dysregulation, what it does is that it doesn't allow this message of the vagus nerve to send to the gut that all is well. In fact, it's doing the opposite. All is not well, we're in survival, right? And so then therefore the body's energy doesn't go to healing the gut. If you've, trying to be, if you've been trying to heal your nervous system and you haven't touched your gut healing at all, your gut health, you have to understand that they're inextric inextricably linked and the gut microbiome, which is known as our second brain and is responsible for like 80% of our, our immune system. It's vital for our hormone production and our uh, neurotransmitter production, all things to do with your energy and your mood. If your gut is a wreck, right? It can also keep your nervous system in chronic dysregulation. So I'd love to save you some time with this because I'm somebody that was in a very toxic dynamic. I was running a really low level of, um, I would say sometimes high level of anxiety being inside of this toxic dynamic. And what showed up for me was just 0% energy. I had 0% energy to do anything that I wanted to do, to serve clients, to work out, to you know move towards my purpose. I just had 0% energy. I was absolutely exhausted. And I dove into about three and a half years of gut healing. It was quite expensive. It was quite taxing on my body, all of the protocols that I did. And at the same time, I'm in a, in a toxic dynamic that's keeping me in some level of dysregulation. So this is why I think it took me three and a half years to actually get through um, all of the gut healing uh, and, and to really embody any of the, the benefits that started to move the needle for me. What actually moved the needle for me was realizing I was in the toxic dynamic that was keeping me in this level of anxiety and keeping me in dysregulation, which means the gut can't heal. No system of the body can actually heal whenever we're in dysregulation. So this is the, the point of healing the nervous system is that every other system of your body will improve when you're in a state of regulation more often, more of the time. So this means um, your digestive system will get better, your brain, your, cog your cognitive function, your memory, your focus um, will get better, your brain fog will go down, your sleep will get better, your energy will get better, your muscle tension, your pain will go down when, when you're in a state of regulation more often, more of the time. And if you're interested in more info on rewiring chronic dysregulation, check out my video that's called Rewire Chronic Dysregulation. And um, you'll go into, we bust some of the myths around uh, healing in the wellness industry. So for those of you that are really actually interested in moving the needle of your body, making, creating sustainable change in the body, right? We have to understand how this gut brain connection really works. This gut and nervous system connection really works because what's true is that the gut brain axis really facilitates um, a lot. It, it has a lot to do with your stress responses. Um, you know, when you're stressed, your brain sends, sends signals to your gut that can disrupt your, your digestion and, and cause stomach aches and, you know, loss of appetite and nausea and things like this. Conversely, if we have poor gut health, right? And through the vagus nerve, it's sending signals back to the brain. This can heighten our stress or, or heighten any kind of uh, mood disorders, right? The other piece that has a lot to do with is your emotional regulation. So your emotional regulation, when your microbiome is actually healthy, right? It can um, help, it helps maintain this balance of neurotransmitter production. Think serotonin, dopamine, GABA. This is all your neuro neurotransmitters that have everything to do with your mood and your sleep and your energy. 
the other piece that your, your gut brain axis has a lot to do with is behavioral changes. So research actually shows that changes in your gut health can directly affect your behavior. And for instance, there's, there's certain uh, probiotics, for example, that have been shown to improve mood and uh, reduce symptoms of depression and anxiety. And if you were to put them right next to each other, you know, uh, symptoms of microbiome dysbiosis, right? A poor gut health and symptoms of chronic nervous system dysregulation, they're actually quite similar they're quite similar. So you might have chronic inflammation in the body. You might be experiencing chronic anxiety or uh, depression. You might have very low energy, uh, low libido. You might have joint pain, right? You might have digestive is issues, mood swings, cognitive decline. Both of these, all of these things have to be addressed um, from a holistic standpoint. And we have to really work with the gut and the nervous system together because if you're just trying to do all this gut healing and your nervous system is in a constant state of survival mode or dysregulation, the gut isn't getting that message from the vagus nerve that all is well and we can heal. We can go about digesting our life physically and emotionally, right? So if this is, if this is interesting for you, if it sparks your interest, um, I'd love to fast track this for you. And I've uh, created a three month low ticket program called Gut and Nervous System Repair. We begin 11-11, and this is an evidence-based 90 days together. This is for those of, you, those of you that are very serious, you're interested in uh, this kind of work that is backed by science. And we use the Safe and Sound protocol, which I'll link in the description for more information. Um, it's an acoustic intervention for the vagus nerve. We use that. It's an evidence-based protocol created by Dr. Stephen Porges, who created polyvagal theory, the neuroscientist. The safe and sound protocol I use for all of my clients and it helps fast track your physiology back to a baseline of safety. Uh, I'll link the description in that below if you want more information on it. And the 90 day gut healing superfood protocol that we use is through Purium. And one of the evidence-based supplements that Purium uses is called Biomedic. It's five simple supplements that, you're, that you would order that goes along with this. And that Biomedic um, is shown within six weeks to reduce glyphosate, which is Roundup, which is the toxic herbicide that's in our food, in our air, in our water. Um, it is that, that supplement Biomedic is, is said to reduce glyphosate in the gut uh, by over 70% within six weeks. So you can't underestimate some of these evidence-based approaches that will really help move the needle um, of your healing. So uh, allow me to be your poster child to say, you can't just address one thing, you can't just address the gut, you can't just address you know, the nervous system. The body works together. It's all very, very intricately connected. And uh, if you'd like more information, see the description and I'll link below the three month program that starts 1111 for gut and nervous system repair. Um, again, all of it is backed by science and we're doing um, this, it's a group program, it's healing and community because we know now that we're moving away from that one-on-one -on -one paradigm shift of um, you know one-on-one -on -one Western medicine patient doctor and we need to heal in connection. We know this now, Our uh, and Zach Bush talked about it the other day, I heard him talk about how just uh, being in connection with safe people uh, and the co-regulation that happens in the nervous system can actually boost uh, the gut's microbiome. And so it's so much more into, into, intimately connected than we can even really fathom. And so if you're really serious about moving the needle and creating sustainable change in the body, uh, feel free to send me a, uh, any questions that you have. Check out the link below for more details and I hope to see you there. Aloha.